Does social and community support help with trauma? One of the most important effect, it's hard to say, what, the most important factor in helping people going through trauma is social support. And social support can be, they're, they're ripples. Terror and trauma have ripples, a ripple effect. Those that affected most are those close by. And then, the, then there's an outer circle, which could be close family. And then it could be close friends. And then the wider community. Everybody is affected in some way. We call this the ripple effect of terror. And social support is very, very important. It really, really helps and makes a difference at all those different levels. And when people are going through difficult situations, especially in a community, when it affects so many levels of, 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 of the ripple effect of the trauma, as I mentioned here, one of the most important things that helps is doing something. Is doing something within the context of social support. So, for example, in Israel, many, many mothers are spending, waking up five, six in the morning and making incredible amounts of chicken and sending it to the border for the soldiers. Some are collecting socks and underwear and flashlights. Some are going and picking avocados every morning. There are many different levels of, of involvement that people can do, and, and that should be seen as a very positive thing. One has to, on the other hand, be careful of exploitation. But, but doing something is always a very, very good thing and, 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 uh, uh, and helps not only those who you're helping, but, but no less helping yourself, because one needs to do something. And that should be encouraged. So at a community level, it's an incredible thing what people are doing, and it really helps. And when people in Israel know that people outside the country are investing so, many, so much effort into, what, into helping uh, and to caring, it really, really makes a difference to those who are going through the trauma. But I think it helps also the people who are going through who are contributing and helps themselves because it is a positive manifestation of dealing with trauma rather than, than, than withdrawing, being disconnected, feeling numb, feeling down, staying in one's cocoon at home. That is not necessarily conducive to a positive uh, dealing with stress.